Hi there. So we want to talk a little bit about playlists. We spend a lot of time making them, but what can we do with them? Let's go take a look at them. So I'm going to come up here to my name and I'm going to drop that menu down. And as soon as I do, you can see up here on the top are my playlists. Now be careful, the favorites, the watch later, and the likes are not playlists. There's just something that's an extra feature of YouTube. The, the rest of them, these are the playlists that I've made. Now I can go ahead and click on the link, the white link, on the top of the window to access my playlist, but I want to show you another way. I come over here to Video Manager, and then off to the left is the selection for playlists. This takes me to all of my playlists in order from top to bottom. bottom. This shows me my playlists from top to bottom. Now I can resort those from A to Z, so forth and so on. It just helps me find my playlists a little bit better than just choosing them from that carousel that we saw earlier. So when I come in here, I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these. This is my playlist about Cinema Verite. Now, it looks like a video has been deleted from YouTube, so I need to clean that out. What I do is come up here to Edit Playlist. That's when I can go ahead and choose it and delete it. Over here off to the right, because we're in edit mode, because remember we click the edit button, I can now add a note. And I can say, this is the video from the Blockbuster movie. And now my students will just be able to notice, you know, some basic things I've said about it. Well, what if I only want to show a segment of that? I don't want to show the whole clip. Well, I can click here, this sort of triangle in brackets, and I can trim off the front and I can trim off the back just to show a specific time. So when my students watch this playlist, they're only treated to that one segment. The last segment I want to show you is the introduction button. When I hover over it, you'll see that I can add an introduction, a video introduction, in front of each of the videos in my playlist. This allows me to give my students a specific set of instructions face-to-face, -face, if you will. I just hit introduction, it launches my web camera, and then I can start recording. I hope that helps.